Craig Ishii, B2B Product Marketing with Logitech. Now, today we're going to talk through the different mounting options that you have for site. We're going to go in depth and we're going to show you how to do each one. Now, before we start, it's important to note that all three of these options, the table, the tripod, and the grommet mount are all included in the box and come included with site. So with that, we're going to start with option one, the table mount. All right, before we start, it's important to point out the ports on the bottom here of site. And they're all marked for your convenience. So here at the top, we have the RJ45 port for power. You're going to plug a CAT cable into there and the other side into PoE or PoE injector. You're then going to plug a CAT6 cable into this bottom port and the other side into our site dongle that plugs into the rally bar. And then third, we have this Ethernet port here that can be used to connect an additional rally mic pod or can be used in the future to connect multiple sites. Now, with that in mind, let's take a look at this, the table mount. The table mount is used for flat surfaces like this table we have here that do not have a hole in the middle of the table. You're going to run the cables direct to the middle and into the site. You're then going to align the indentations here on the site, lock it into place. The cables are then going to run out of sight through these cable guides. Now, on the sides here, we also have four micro suction pads, and these are going to ensure that site sits securely mounted on the table. And so once we've plugged in the cables, once we've routed them through the cable guide, we're just going to turn site over and we are going to just press it here on the table and press it down. Now, it's very secure once it sits on the table like this. You can see I'm even bumping it here and site is still standing straight up. Now, another important note to point out is that the two 4K cameras that are here on the top are not located on the exact same sides. Instead, we are providing a 315 degree view of the room because we don't want to capture the display that's in the front. And so you want to just make sure that your two cameras are pointing away from the rally bar when you mount site. Next up, we're going to show an example of the grommet mount. Now, I don't want to drill a hole in this table, so I've got this piece of wood to use as our example. We've got our grommet mount here, and we're also going to need the table mount because we're going to need to remove the bracket here at the top to use this grommet mount. So the first thing we're going to do to remove this bracket is we're going to unscrew these four Phillips screws here on the bottom. Once you've removed those Phillips screws, we can then remove the bracket like so. We're then going to unscrew the grommet mount here, and we're going to align the indentations. So we've got a big indentation here and a small indentation on the other side. We're just going to line that up with the indentations here in the bracket, like so, until it clicks in. We're then going to just install like so. And on the back side here, we're then going to use this to secure the grommet mount onto the table. Now, just to show you how secure it is, we're going to leave this at this angle. We're then going to align the indentations here again, click it, lock it into place, and that is the grommet mount for sight. And lastly, we have the tripod mount for a tripod. We're going to need that same top bracket that we just uninstalled from the table mount. We're going to want to make sure that the bottom of the tripod mount is flat and we're going to line up the four screw holes from the top bracket with the four screw holes that are in the tripod mount. I am then going to use the same screws to attach the top bracket to the tripod mount. Once I've got the four screws in place, I am then going to just remove my tripod bracket here. I'm going to use the center screw like so. And once that piece is installed, I'm just going to insert it back here into the tripod. And once that's, once that's secure, I can just place and align the indentations on the site with the indentations that are here on the top bracket and lock site into place. Now, I forgot to mention a few things at the beginning of the video, so I just want to make mention of them now. Let's start with cabling. For the table mount, you're going to want to make sure to run the cables through the center of the mount. And the same is going to go for the grommet mount. Again, you're going to want to run the cables through the center. Now, the next question that we get is, 
where should I place sight on the table? And the answer is that it depends. The most important thing to note about sight is that it has a two meter or a 6.5 foot pickup radius. So we're gonna keep this in mind as we talk through placement. For a standard medium to large room like the one that we have here, where you have a table that's under 14 feet, you can go ahead and mount sight at the center of the table. If you look at the diagram here, sight at the center of the table generally picks up everyone around the table. Now for tables that are longer than 14 feet, you're gonna to wanna to place sight at the back third of the table so we can be sure that all the individuals around the room get some camera coverage, whether it's from sight or rally bar. Now, soon enough, we're going to introduce daisy chaining for sight, so you'll be able to have two sights connected in the room. But for the time being, go ahead and place sight towards the back third, and you can even place a mic pod in the front third if you want equitable mic pickup across the table. Now, that's a mouthful, so just note that all of this is carefully diagrammed on our site installation guide, so we encourage you to take a look. Now that's it for this video. We'll see you next time.